let's start off by creating walls so you can either go and click on this button over here or you can just type wa either of the options are okay so there are a couple of practices that i follow personally um, which is the first thing i do is i change the location line from wall center line to finish face interior so i'll tell you what the difference is so in when we're using wall center line can you see the dotted line the dotted line is in the center so if you have if your room dimension is th if your side dimension is 30 by 40 um Okay, so let's just create a mod before we start modeling the walls. Let's just create a side dimension which is 30 by 40. Okay, so this is the extent of our plan. So if we go ahead with wall center line the walls will get placed on the center line of this so a part of the wall is going out of the plan so again you'll have to model it and then you'll have to like probably align it or something like that it's just too uh, complicated so the easier option is to go ahead and change that to finish face interior so that way either it is outside or inside if you just press on space if you just press space bar your wall will flip and you can easily model the wall inside your line or if you want it outside flip space bar to flip so that way you can model the out outline of your model okay so there's another thing uh, you can go ahead if you want your wall to be say for example 9 inches and if it's not available over here all you have to do is go to edit type uh, go ahead and duplicate it here you can rename it as per your choice as per your convenience I've changed it to 9 inches press ok go to edit and over here change the thickness to 9 inches press ok press ok so this way you can change the dimension of your walls to basically anything so make sure when you do make sure you duplicate it every time so that your original uh, walls are not disturbed or manipulated make sure you always duplicate it and rename it so that you can remember it correctly and also make sure you change the dimension of your thickness of the wall over here and then just press ok and this is a 9 inch wall so I want to change the rest of these walls also to 9 inches because I've already placed it to 8 inches if I want to do that now this is a 9 inch wall and these are 8 inch walls if I want to change these all I have to do is click on this here we have match type properties click on this option and <laughs> select the wall you want to match properties with and then basically select these walls so this way your walls thickness has been changed it is matched with this so whatever properties these wall has it's the same over here and then let's take a look at it in 3d view you can view it over here so here you can see the levels and this is what the walls will look like for a better view I always prefer shaded version you have various options to choose from you can either look through wireframe in this view you can see each and every line of your model in hidden line you can only see the outer lines the surface lines and you have shaded version you have consistent colors both are pretty similar and this is realistic this is this gives you an idea as to what your model might look like in the end so yeah so I prefer shaded so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and this is what it looks like uh, one more main thing you want to 
uh, set before you start modeling the walls is your base offset and your top offset now sometimes your wall goes beyond the ground level like uh, you place it like five feet below ground level or you know one feet above ground level for whatever reasons so you can change your base offset over here you can probably give it to minus three feet you know you so this way you've changed your base offset okay now as you can see my wall has basically moved three feet down so if you don't want the wall to move three feet down and you just want to extend it to three feet down there is another option that you can choose that is base extension as you can see it is uh, not visible over here so what you have to do to make that visible is go to edit type uh, click on preview over here click on modify type attributes so here go to edit and go to modify so when you click on this line it is locked so click on this to unlock it now as you can see it is unlocked just click ok ok so that way your base extension option is now open to use here you can go ahead and type in the value say for example three feet click apply as you can see the wall has not moved down it has only extended three feet below so you can use this option to add base offsets similarly if you want to do the same with the rest just click on the wall you want to copy it copy the properties with click on the wall click on that option and click on rest of the walls it's done and we have not set the top offset it is unconnected 20 this was the default value let's go ahead and change that to first floor if you want to change all of these at once if you don't want to just click on one and then copy properties and do all of that just click on one ball type SA that is select similar that way similar walls or similar elements will be selected so say for example all of these are nine inch walls they all have the same properties so all the walls with the same properties will get selected so you can easily go over here and change it to first floor click apply and done uh, the exterior walls are done um, now after this let's go ahead and model the interior walls for interior walls let's use a smaller thickness wall say for example a um, six inch wall or five inch wall anything is cool um sorry go to architecture go to wall and for interior walls let's use a smaller thickness wall say for example five inch wall that'll do it first change the location line or oh, check your base offset check your top offset and then you're good to go. click on apply and uh, let's create a partition over here for our kitchen so if you want to check the dimensions you can either go to annotate And here you have a set of options to uh, check the dimensions. You have aligned, linear, angular, radial, diameter, spot elevation, spot coordinate, detail line, region, and all that. So um, let me briefly briefly tell you what all of these does. So obviously you know what all of these are. It's pretty basic. Aligned is um, if you want to check the dimension between two elements you use any two elements you can use this option you say for example like this so if you want to also check the dimension of interior face and interior face of these two walls if you just place the cursor over here you can see that the center line of the wall is selected if you want to select the interior face just click on tab so this will get selected now click over here and then similarly here automatically the center line of the wall gets selected so if you want to change that to interior face click on tab so this is selected 
click over there so that gives you the dimension of interior faces of the wall so that is 14 3 uh, similarly linear is basically between any two straight elements if you want to check the angle between two walls just click like this you can check the angle similarly if you have created a circular element you can check the radius and diameter of those elements here under spot elevation what this does is it will show you the elevation of any element now say for example this wall you want to check the bottom elevation so just go to annotate go to spot elevation if you place your cursor over here it shows what elevation it is at which is at minus 3 now we have placed model lines if you want to check the elevation that shows it to 0 if you want to check the top elevation you can check that as well so spot elevation basically uh, measures the elevation of each element what spot coordinate does is um, it shows the coordinate of what coordinate is on now um, this is a very simple project if you are if you're into like bigger projects and everything it is very important for you to set your uh, coordinates to zero zero or hundred hundred or you know something like that you want your if you're placing grids and everything you want your coordinates to be correct so if you want to measure those coordinates then this is very uh, helpful now here are the coordinates I've not set the coordinates for this project so that's why it's a little off if you want to set the coordinates to zero zero and uh, check if it's correct or not this is the option for you so uh, here the dimension is 14.3 I want to keep the dimension to uh, say for example 10 feet for now no. uh, let's say I want to keep it let's have this as the kitchen now I want to keep the dimension to say for example 12 feet just for now so let's do that and uh, this is going to be another bedroom so what we're going to do is if you want to create a similar wall like this over here as well you don't want to like go to architecture click on wall every single time all you have to do is click on the wall press cs that is create similar so that way the similar wall gets created so all of these short keys I will be mentioning it in the PDF it will be very helpful for you you can go ahead and use these short keys okay so um, let's create a wall here as well see now it is over here like this if you want to just flip the wall press space bar the wall gets flipped okay so here what I want to do is I want to create an opening for kitchen I don't want to place the door I just want to create an opening so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this wall and here I'm going to set the dimensions to I don't know say for example 5 I want to keep the opening to 5 feet so let's just do that for now and here let's um create a bathroom let's check the dimensions first um so this is four seven and this is seven ten so i'm gonna keep this to an eight and i'm gonna keep this to a five okay so these are very random uh, dimensions I haven't given too much thought to it so let's take a look at these dimensions okay so this is fine uh, also I want to go ahead and add a little balcony over here I'll be doing that later so for now um, this is it uh, next is I want to create this is going to be an attached bathroom for this particular bedroom 
I want to create another bathroom over here. So let's do that. Let's check the dimension. If you have a preloaded, let's keep this to five. If you have a preloaded plan that is created in AutoCAD, then it's the process is very simple. You just import the plan and you just start placing walls. So the first part is basically done very easy for you because we don't have a plan. So this part is taking a bit of time. 